Hello everyone, and today we're going over how to check on your Nitrato server status. Here at Nitrato, we pride ourselves on having many different games out there for you to play. Whether it's Minecraft, Ark, or even any other game that you might enjoy, one thing that you need for certain is your server to be on. And to do that, you might want to be able to know how to check to make sure that your server is in fact on. So today we're going over that simple thing. Checking your Nitrato server status. To do this very thing, the first thing you want to do is head into our Nitrato page and hit the login button in the top right corner. From here, you're going to type in the username that you used to make your account and the password. Go ahead and hit the login button and it'll redirect you to the same page, but this time you'll be logged in under your username. From here, you're going to go to the My Services section underneath your username and go find your server in the list, if you have more than one, that is. From here, click on the one that you want and then go ahead and hit the Web Interface Login. From here, you're in your server and you can adjust your panel however you want. Obviously, you can tell that it is online and you can see how much CPU is being used as well as how much RAM. You can even check out how many players are on the server at a time. Cool, right? Server status in the Nitrato app. Did you know that we have a PC app? Because if you didn't, now you do. Head into your Microsoft Store or follow the link linked in the description below and go ahead and install this app. It'll ask you to open up the Microsoft Store itself if you're going through Chrome like I am, but either way, you'll be able to install it with little to no problem and for a very small amount of space. After it is downloaded, you're gonna go ahead and open it up and of course you need to log in. That way you can see where your servers are. Once again, you're gonna log in with the account name and the password, and once you're done, hit the yellow login button. After just a few moments, you'll see in your servers, the list of servers that you have available and the ones that are online. Conclusion. This may be a relatively simple and straightforward thing, but hopefully you found it helpful. We all have to start somewhere, right? If you like this video, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content you like to see. Until next time. Huh. Huh.